in the words of the Hodge twins, move out the way. I'm gonna teach you how to make room for some more muscle. Let's go. Hello, I'm Andre Smith, and welcome to the Vinci Fitness and Performance. This is what I like to call gym toolbox, and what it is where I give you different fitness tips and fitness techniques that you can fit into your training, whether it's in or inside or outside of the gym. This one right here is one, if you're wondering where some of the training videos have been, that I've been actually holding on to. I should have put this one out first because it's implemented into every gym workout I do, and you'll see why once I go over it. So once I put this one, once you see this one, you should see a lot more actual gym footage come up after that with the different workouts I do. And so this one is a FST7 and it's fascia stretch training. And basically it was invented by Hanny Rambod and he coached a lot of Olympia competitors, a lot of Olymp not even competitors, winners. He coached Jay Cutler, who else? I know the one for the Olympia physique competitor this year. He actually had been coaching him and he won last year and this year. But basically what it is, a lot of people would consider it maybe a pump set, but it's not really so much that. It's the science and the order and the fashion in which, he, in which way he does it that makes it successful. And basically the fascia is like the skin around the muscle that holds it together. And so for this, what it is, is he actually wants to put the stuff in a certain order and, a, and give you a certain rep range and rest range to actually stretch that out. And so anybody knows that lifting heavy ass weights is what increases your muscle size. And so normally people would say, I'm gonna do a pump set, it's the pump up. For him, he believes that that pump set should be done at the end. So it's basically that the heavy weight sets is what's gonna increase the size, obviously. The pump sets ain't gonna get it done. But putting that FST7 set at the end, and preferably like me, I do at the end of every workout. At the end of every workout, so it's basically you're using the heavy weight to increase the size. And then imagine it like a balloon. You're actually doing that pump set to stretch out the skin to make room for the weight that you're actually, I mean for the muscle that you're actually trying to gain. And to give you like an example of this, let's see, um, he said it himself actually. If you look at how Ronnie Coleman looks, or a lot of people say, you know, look at Chris Jones on stuff like that, how they got the big round bubbly muscle. This is an example of someone who has a thinner fast fascia and their muscles can just bubble out and be round and big and, and more or less bloated and just bubble out like that. And another one that he coached, Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, he admitted himself, he was like, he didn't. But he still, you know, we worked with him to be able to stretch out what he had. He had a thicker fascia, so he had to work harder just to see, you know, any muscle development. So when I says that thinner fascia, it just automatically, they can get pumped up a little bit and it's puffed out there. And so to give you an example of a couple places where you can use this at, um, it's not good for any compound movements. You want this to be used for isolation movements is basically what it is. So if you done went through your whole set of chest stuff, you can use it on something like pec deck, or you done went through your whole set of curls, you can use it on something like machine, machine curl, machine preacher curl, dumbbell curl, something like that. You want an isolation movement. And so basically what it is, you will go through your whole the whole exercises and then when you get to the FST set which would be the last set on that body part so if you're doing two body parts a day you end up doing you know a FST set for each one it would look something like you're going to do that's where the seven comes from you're going to do seven sets of like the growth range eight to twelve and it's going to only be 30 seconds rest in between there so it can be pretty rough and to give you an example of what an average set will look like, I'm just gonna read off one of mine. And well, this is actually shorter than mine, it's abbreviated. You'll see some of mine in other videos. This is uh, for a tricep day. You would do, you know, close grip bench, four sets of eight to 12, weighted dips, weighted dips, four sets of eight to 12, 
and after that, you know, Skull Crushers, it'll be seven sets of eight to 12, and it'll only be 30 seconds rest in between them. And so basically, you done did your two power movements or heavyweight movements to get the muscle actually, you know, inhibit growth or start growth up. And then after that, you did your FST7 actually stretch out the skin on the outside of that muscle to let that growth happen. And so this is one that in every workout I do, I always have an FST7 set for the finisher on every body part. So I just wanted to make sure I get this one out there. So now when you see me say curls FST7, you know, I look like wondering what it is. I realize I only have a couple out now that I haven't fully explained that. So I want to make sure I get this out. Okay, and I hope that helped you. And I hope you can be able to incorporate this in your training and learn something from this. And now as usual, I'm Andre Smith for DaVinci Fitness. We don't break fingers, but we need them thumbs. So I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this video on anyone you see on this channel on Facebook and Twitter, as well as follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Andre Smith for DaVinci Fitness, and I'm out.